So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to decorate a cake Barbara style. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. I went ahead and made one of my Belizean light cake and I have the recipe at the side already and it's a 9 by 13 pan. I went ahead and put the wax paper rather than grease and flour the pan because my pan's kind of old and, and ratty and I was afraid the cake was going to stick but this wax paper thing didn't really do a, a, a bit of justice for me but we're going to make it work because we're going to cut this cake actually into the shape of a butterfly. So in my prior video that I put up this week, I made this beautifully white satiny fluffy seven minute frosting. Now I want my butterfly cake to be yellow so I'm going to add a little bit of yellow food dye in there, not a whole lot. Let me get it worked in and see if it's yellow enough. If it's not yellow enough then I'll add more. So I'm going to use the whole batch to make it yellow because I'm not going to be using different colors on the cake, okay? So here I am just making my yellow frosting and when I come back I'm going to show you how we're going to cut this cake into the shape of a butterfly. Look how beautiful I got the yellow, see? Gorgeous! So now, what you guys have to understand is I have not made this cake in like 20 years. <laughs> and on the first time I'm going to try it again, I turn the camera on, right? Go me! Yay! Anyways, let me get to my cake. Let me show you what we're going to be doing with my beautiful cake. So I, the reason I put it on the wax paper was because I want to be able to move it around and around, right? So what I'm going to do is get a knife. And I'm going to pick the prettiest side, so this side, and I'm going to cut it right about there, okay? Hang on, let me get a good knife. So I've made my cut, and don't be afraid to cut, okay? The cake gets all crumbly or whatever, don't worry, we're going to patch it good with that frosting. So this is going to be the body of our butterfly, believe it or not. Let me put it over there. And what we're going to do here, we're going to do a diagonal cut. This way. So it's the one cake that's going to be making this whole butterfly, all right? And we're going to cut it this way. And of course you can make it with box cake, or as we call it in Belize, pack cake. But I want to do it with my cake from scratch. So let me go ahead and show you how to assemble. What you really want to have is like a big cardboard and cover it over real beautiful with aluminum foil. But I don't have any and you know, working in the business that we do, we should have brought a box home or something. But anyways, I'm going to put it on this thing right here, which is just a baking sheet that I've turned upside down and put aluminum foil. And we're going to try to make this butterfly, butterfly fit up here, okay? So let me get this going and we're going to get the body assembled. So here's our cake. Now let me tell you what I did. Remember I cut off that strip and that was the body? And then I cut the next piece diagonal and I got four pieces. Well, two pieces are big and those are, we're going to name those B, okay? piece B and piece B. The two small pieces when we cut it diagonally is piece A and piece A. So you want the A to go on the bottom and you put the peak in towards the body like that and you want the B to go on the top for the bigger wings and you put it in like that. So now what I'm going to do is you can see it already take um, form right here okay. What I'm going to do is get my frosting that's really thickened up a bit on me here and I'm going to use a spatula and I'm going to just um, paint it lightly. What I'm going to do here is move that and put a little bit of frosting like almost like we're gluing it together and I'm going to go ahead and get it all frosted with yellow frosting and then you're going to see what else we're going to do to decorate this beautiful butterfly cake. Okay take a look at our beautiful butterfly cake right? I put that frosting all over it and if you're like me I can't frost cakes very well. I'm artistically inclined in so many other departments but not when it comes to decorating cakes or sewing okay? So uh, here I am I just frosted it the best way I could. I kind of cleaned up some of the edges. And by the way, I had to get rid of that um, baking sheet and this is my cutting board that I just beautifully decorated with aluminum foil so we could get this cake spread out, okay? So take a look at what I'm going to do now to cover all the ugliness that I'm not equipped at doing. And of course, you know, you could use a piping bag and do icing and do it all fancy. But this is what Barbara can do. So I'm putting some of that same yellow food dye. And I have another tube just in case I run out with this. I put like a teaspoon of water in here and I mix in the food dye or you can use a teaspoon of milk if you don't uh, want to use water and what I'm going to add to this is just coconut flakes and I bought it in the package because I'm not going to go great no coconut I'm not Joe and 
for the lady who keeps asking me to do trifle, that's coming up real soon, okay? It kind of reminded me of it when I started messing with the coconut flakes. So you kind of want to use a big spoon or a fork, and you're just going to work that dye into the coconut flakes. If you need to add a little bit more water, that's fine. A little bit more color, that's fine, because I want this to be totally yellow, okay? All right, so I've added some more food coloring. I mixed it down in water first, of course. And there's nothing wrong with getting down and dirty and putting your hand in there. Can you guys see that, how beautiful the coconut flakes are? I'm not sure if we're going to need another bag, but that's one bag that I've used so far. And we're going to go ahead and continue to decorate our beautiful cake. So here we are, we're going to add the coconut flakes to the cake. All right, so on the sides, we kind of just want to throw them. I mean, this, your kids can help you do this, because if you notice, when I'm doing it, it looks like a kid's doing it, right? <laughs> Anyways, the coconut flakes, for people who don't like coconut flakes, you might not like this cake, but the coconut flakes is just to give it like a 3D effect and to cover up all the badly frosted um, uh, things that I did to this wonderful cake. And of course, this cake is going to taste good because this is our light cake that we made from scratch. And I'm going to clean up all this when we're done, but we just want to get the flakes on the cake. And what we're going to use on this is gumdrops, or as we know it in Belize, um, jujus. And I couldn't find the regular jujus that were just plain old sweet. Every store that I went to only had the spiced ones, so it tastes kind of minty. But in any case, that's just for decoration. Kind of like you would do at a gingerbread house. That's what we're going to be doing. And we're going to need some licorice laces or some licorice sticks that we can bend. Something that's flexible that we can use for the antenna on our beautiful butterfly. So let me finish this up and we're going to get our candies. So here are my little jujus, right? Or my gumdrops as they call it over here. And I'm just taking a knife. I'm cutting it on the, on the counter, but I'm going to show you here. Just cut them in half and we're going to put them on the ends of the wings just to make decoration and this is just what we see in our own mind's eye okay it's okay so put another one no we're gonna do that 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 right I think I have them correctly yeah <laughs> wait 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 this one's at the wrong spot okay there so we're gonna decorate the front we're gonna decorate this part and we're also gonna decorate the body and I have licorice these are little pieces of licorice that I'm cutting in half length way and then I'm also cutting them in half the other way. And what I'm doing with those is putting them in between here. And so basically we're just decorating our beautiful butterfly. Does it look a little bit more cleaned up, guys? I mean, I am not savvy when it comes to making frosting look good and de decorations look good. But I can, you know, do this to like help myself out. I mean, Thanksgiving is coming up pretty soon and I don't know how to do a turkey. But I know how to do a butterfly, I know how to do like a cruise ship, an airplane, a Santa. I mean, that's why I put the video separate with the uh, frosting because we're going to be needing to make, you know, a dose of that frosting every time we're going to do this type of cake, okay? So this is all I'm doing, cutting all these candy and decorating our cake with it. So when I come back, hopefully we'll get an aerial view of our finished product of this beautiful cake. Okay, we're trying a new angle here to show you guys the beauty of this cake. See, the antenna is supposed to be black licorice, but the kids ate that, so we're using purple. And look how beautiful the cake came out. Started out kind of rough, right? But look how beautiful it is after the fact. I hope you guys try this and tell me how it comes out, and don't stress out about it, all right? Just get it done and have fun with it. So do you guys see why I said that, that I'm going to be decorated in cake Barbara style? No piping bags involved at all, right? I am not artistically inclined when it comes to cake decoration. That is something that I would do epic fail at. So that's why I decided to do it this way with our satiny seven minute frosting. We just kind of covered the cake lavishly. And then even if it was still ugly at that point, we added the coconut flakes to add that 3D effect and the candies and so on just add beautiful color to it. In the future, we're going to be making more cakes like this where we cut it in the shape of a puzzle. Like, for instance, I know how to do an airplane and I know how to do a cruise ship. And there's other ones that I am, you know, conjuring up in my brain right now. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to toss a couple of these in here. I don't even know how to put this in the cookbook. Honestly, I don't even know how to dry it 
to show the decoration so we're just gonna do this as a part of the show and I hope you guys try it it's something fun to do with your family and involve the kids and tell me how it comes out take pictures and show me especially if you change the color of the butterfly and any other decorations and stuff I'd really love to see what you guys do now in the meantime I want to thank you so much for sharing the show with your friends and family and on your social media I want to thank you so much for picking up my book and I just want to thank you for just being a part of my life and a part of the show until I see you again take care